Hi boys and girls. Today is Thursday, February 18th, and we are going to be doing reading. You will need your big book and um, from your the Your Turn Practice book, which I know your teacher probably tears this out, but it comes from this. You will need pages 155 all the way to 160. So 155, which is this book, whoops. And 157. So you're tearing, so you have three pages. And then 159. So from 155 to 160, you will need those. For now, we're not going to start that yet. For now, let's go over the words, our words for this week. I got to get them organized. Hold on. Okay. The first word, give. G-I-V-E, give, rhymes with live, g -iv. It's a rule breaker. E doesn't say I in this word. The next word, our, O-U-R. Remember, this is like our house, our dog, our. The next word, about. OU makes an ow sound. It has the word out in it. About. A B O U T. About. The next word, eight. The number word eight. E I G H T. Eight. The next word, animal. Animal. It has the word an in it animal so should be able to sound this one out and <clears throat> animal a n i m a l animal carry c a r r y carry y on the end makes an e sound in this word carry now we're back at the beginning and the vocabulary words for this week. We're going to talk about these again today. Special and splendid. Remember, splendid means that it's wonderful or very good. A peacock has a splendid tail and special. Special is important or unique. Penguins move in a special way. And I'll just go over these words too. Determined, remember these words? Feature, relief, Whew. relief, predicament. Remember he's in a predicament because his keys are locked in his car. Appearance. Okay, okay, oh, my computer went to sleep. Okay, what I want, what we're going to do first is from the reading book. We're going to listen to how Bat got its wings. So turn to page 10 and 11. And we read this yesterday, but we're going to listen to it today. How Bat got its wings. Okay, I'm going to have to use it on the computer. Do it on the computer. Genre, folktale, essential question. How do animals' bodies help them? 
Read about how a little bat got its wings. How Bat Got Its Wings, retold and illustrated by Gerald McDermott. A long time ago, the animals had a big game of ball. They broke up into teams. One side had birds, or animals with wings. The other side had animals with legs, but they did not have wings. The animals who did not have wings were big and fast. They could toss a ball a long way and run like the wind. The birds were fast, but not as big. Yet with their wings, they could carry a ball way up in the air. The animals with legs could not jump up and grab it. At last, game day came. The animals and birds met on the playing field. Both teams felt very excited. We will win, came the calls. Just then, an animal with four very little legs stepped up. It was a gray bat. He went to the animals. Can I play on this team? He asked. You are much too small to play, laughed the animals. And look at those little legs. We can't win with you. I may be little, said gray bat, but I can do lots of things. Next, Gray Bat went to the birds. Can I play on this team? He asked. The birds shook their heads. Our team has wings, they explained. But the animals say I am not big and can't play with them, said Gray Bat. Then Blue Jay spoke up. Maybe there is a way for Gray Bat to play with us. Tell us about it, said Raven. We can give him wings, said Blue Jay. That is splendid, Cardinal exclaimed. So the birds took the skin off the top of a big drum. Then they took sticks and made special wings for Gray Bat. Let's see if he can fly, said Blue Jay. Gray Bat flapped his wings. He went zig and zag. He could not go in a line like a real bird. That's the best I can do, Gray Bat said and smiled. Just sit and wait until we need you, said the birds. At last, the game began. The animals and birds played their best to win. The ball zipped up and down. Gray Bat just sat and waited. When the end of the game was close, each team had eight points. Gray Bat still had not played. With a little time left, the animals took the ball and ran with it. Just then, Gray Bat stood up. Let me help, he said. He flew up, up, up with his special wings. He grabbed the ball and carried it in his zigzag way. The animals could not catch him. We win, yelled the birds. Gray Bat did it. To this day, Gray Bat plays on the bird team. He flies in his own way. And that is how the bat got wings. about the author. Gerald McDermott says, animals, animals, animals. I love to draw them jumping and hopping and flying across the pages of my books. You can draw animals too. Gerald McDermott has illustrated folk tales starring interesting animals from all over the world. Author's purpose. Gerald McDermott wanted to retell an old folk tale. Think of a story about an animal. Draw the animal in your story. Write about it. Okay. Okay, you can put your book away. And now we're going to work on the pages from our practice book.
Okay, so have out the book that is on, that's called A Fox Tale. Have out A Fox Tale, and we are going to read it. Fox wanted to eat. I see hen, Fox said. I will get an egg from her. May I take that egg? Fox asked. No, you may not, said Hen. I will trick Hen and get that egg, said Fox. Fox dressed up. He put on a hat and old pants. He went to see Hen. Whenever there's a fox in the story, you know it's going to be tricky and sneaky, right? He asked Hen for an egg. Ha! said Hen. You cannot trick me. I see a foxtail. Hen did not give fox any eggs. Okay, I want you to read that again. So pause and read that again. Remember, the more you read, the better reader you will be. Okay, I hope you read that again. All right, so thinking about that book, we are going to write, oh, so you need your other page out, your page right after that. So you need out page 157. So we're going to write one if the sentence and picture tell what happened first. We're going to write two if the sentence and picture tell what happened next. And write three if the sentence and picture tell, uh oh, I'm gonna have, I'm having trouble with my um, smart board. We're going to write three if the sentence and picture tell what happened last. So, number one, fox dressed up. Okay, so look back in your book. Did that happen first? Did it happen next, so kind of in the middle? Or did that happen last? So we're going to put one if it's first, two if it happened next or in the middle, three if it happened last. So look in your book. I bet you knew it. It happened in the middle, so we're going to put two. Number two, I see hen, Fox said. So look in your book. Did that happen first? Did it happen in the middle? Or did it happen at the end? First, it was on the very first page, so we're going to put a one. And number three, ha, said Hen, you cannot trick me, Fox. So did that happen at the beginning, the middle, end? And it was on the very last page, so we're going to put a three. At the bottom of your paper, it says, work with a partner, read the passage aloud, Pay attention to intonation. That means when you raise your voice up, like, ha, you cannot trick me, fox. Um, stop after one minute and fill out the chart. So basically, we're not, we don't really have to do this, but I just wanted to tell you what it means. That would mean that someone would time you and see how many words you, you can read from this story in one minute. Okay, so if you wanted to do that at home, you could. All right, we're gonna turn the page and we're going to talk about those words special and splendid from this week.
Okay. Um, I'm having trouble with my smart board, so I have to keep going over to my computer. We are going to talk about something called a dictionary. A dictionary is something, is a book, but they have it online too, where you look up what words mean. And in your book, which I know I told you that you could put it away, in your book you have, and I'm trying to remember where I put, where I put mine that I just had out. I must have put it over here. Yep. I set it over at my computer when I went over there. In your book, I'm sure you've noticed in, in all your books, in your reading books, at the end, at the end of your book, you have something kind of like a dictionary. And at the very, very end, it's called a glossary, but it's, it's kind of the same thing. So this is like a dictionary where it tell it lists some words and it tells you what those words mean. So if we were thinking about special and splendid, we would look it up at the back of your book. And it goes in ABC order, so I'd have to look for the page that has S on it. So, going to the S page, page 420, and here are a bunch of words that start with S, and at the bottom I see special and splendid. And it gives a sentence that helps us understand what those words mean. Special. My birthday is a special day for me. And for splendid. Having a play date is a splendid idea. Um, so that's what a dictionary is. It is going to tell you what the word means. This one doesn't really tell you what the word means, but... It would tell you what the word means and it would give you a sentence to help you better understand what that word means. So on your paper, underline what it says here, a dictionary is a book that gives the meanings of words. So if you didn't know what a word meant, you would look it up in the dictionary and you could look it up online too. So you'd be looking up, I don't know what that word means. And then you would look it up. It shows how to use a word in a sentence, like we talked about. It gave those words in a sentence to help you understand it a little better. We use a dictionary to find out what a word means. Maybe you have a dictionary at home. You'll have to ask your parents. Okay. So, um, I'm going to scoot the page up so we can have this all together. And hold on, my smart board is being funny. Okay, so we're talking about these two words, special and splendid. Special and splendid. Special means important. And it gives the sentence, my pup is very special to me, very important to me, and splendid, very good. We had a splendid time with Graham. So we are going to fill in the circle next to what the word means. So we have the word special here. Does it mean important or fun? All we have to do is look right there. This is kind of what it would show in a dictionary. They're just giving us a little part of it. Special means important. Fill in the little circle. We call it a bubble. Fill in the bubble. Okay, splendid. Does it mean sad or very good? Just look right here. It says very good. Okay, now we're going to use the word special 
and splendid to finish these sentences. So, the school play was, would it be special or would it be splendid? Would it mean important or would it be very good? If you go watch the play. I think it would be splendid. The school play was splendid. It was very good. We're going to write splendid on number three. And number four, the gift from mom is blank to me, is special. Means that it's important. It is important to me. So that's what a dictionary does. It tells you the meaning of a word and it gives it in a sentence. Okay, pause if you need more time because I'm going to erase. I mean, you should be able to finish that on your own because the words are there. Okay, we're going to turn the page. Or well, I guess yours was already out. Okay, you are going to be doing this on your own. What you're going to do is you are going to write the word and circle the picture that it goes with it. We've been talking about long A this week. So you're going to write the word, circle the picture. Write the word, circle the picture. Okay, we're gonna do the other side together so you can either pause and do this now or wait until we're done with the other side. Okay? Okay. This side is going to be easy, but we're going to do it together. ABC order. We have talked about ABC order since September and we're in February. So we should know how to do this. So, but let's underline what it says. We put words in ABC order by looking at the first letter of each word. We know that. If words begin with the same letter, we look at the second letter. We know that, right? Okay, so we are going to, they gave us the alphabet up at the top in case we need it, and sometimes we need it. We have two words, and we're going to circle which of these words, and we're going to write the word that would come next um, after those two words. I'm going to erase this and make this bigger so that we, you can see it a little bit better. Okay. Sorry, I keep having to go back to my computer. It's given me some exercise today. All right, so we have pale, read. Which one of these words would come next? So we're pretending that we're going to put all four of them in ABC order. So which would be the one that would come right after that? Pale, read, and then we have take and stay. So we're looking at this, we're looking at T, and we're looking at S. We have P for pale, R for read. What comes after R? Is it T or S? 
S. So we are going to circle the word stay and write the word stay. So it would go pale, read, stay, then take. Okay, number two, can, five, which one of these would come next? Past or gold? We have P, we have G, which comes after F for five? If you're not sure, I scooch this up, but you have the your letters at the top of your paper. G, gold. So circle the word gold and write the word gold. So it would be can, five, gold, past. Number three, day, hive. Would it be log or men? So L, M, day, hive, log, or men. Which comes first, L or M? I know you guys know. Log. Okay, number four, kick, loss, make, or nail. So M or N. What comes after L? Is it M or N? I know you guys know. Make. All of these should have lowercase letters. Okay, we're not writing names. It's not the beginning of sentences, so they all should be lowercase. Okay. Um, so then you're going to do the other side on your own. Really quick, let's go over our words again for this week. We have give, hour, about, eight, animal, carry, we're back at give. Okay. I want you to, after you finish your paper, I want you to read how Bat got his wings or its wings on your own, reading that today as part of your work. Read it to yourself, read it to a stuffed animal, read it to if you have a brother or sister, read it to your dog, your cat, read it to your shadow. So, I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.